We are back with our Robin Williams special. It's a full hour here on 930 KWOC and 93.3 on the FM dial. We're being joined again by Chelsea. Chelsea, thanks for hanging around and doing another movie for us. Appreciate it. Oh, it's not a problem. I and, love Robin Williams. So. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a stalker. It's kind of kind of creepy a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're being joined uh, by Jake for the first time. Uh, Jake, I posed this question to uh, Chelsea earlier. What are some of your first and earliest memories of, of Robin Williams? Hook, all the way. Hook was. Uh, I was... watched Hook uh, on a, a pirated VHS. Every, <laughs> really? Every, pirated, huh? Every night for quite some time. It was a rotation <laughs> between The Little Mermaid when I was like, two, you know, little. Yeah. The Little Mermaid, Hook, and the first Ninja Turtles live action movie. Nice. Was my rotation of movies when I was a kid yeah. to go to sleep. <laughs> so. And what was it about Robin Williams that uh, kind of captured that performance in Hook for you? I don't know. It's just he's a big kid, you know. Mm-hmm. He's just he was just a real big kid, no matter how old he got, and uh, and I just always found that. And Hook really displays that because he goes he has to transform from the the businessman. I'm the businessman. To, yeah. <laughs> to back to being you know Peter Pan as and having those those childlike uh, childlike mannerisms and things like that, which he really pulls off naturally. So yeah, I think that's his personality. Well, this this next movie we're going to do is uh, definitely a far cry from from Hook. <laughs> oh yeah, very very different. It's called uh, the Bird Cage. This movie came out back in the the mid nineteen nineties. It stars Robin Williams, Gene Hackman, Nathan Lane, and also a very young uh, Callista Flockhart back from Ally McBeal. All right, who wants to uh, wants to describe this movie? Jake, you want to give it a I'll try? I'll describe this movie. <laughs> okay. And uh, I, I don't know what all we can say about it <laughs> because the content is is very adult, but it's done. I think it's done in a really tasteful way. I agree. As far as a movie about a gay couple who owns a drag club and lives above it, it's uh, you know it's really done in a tasteful way, and mm-hmm. the characters are very colorful without being you know perverse or anything like that. Yeah. And uh, basically. Robin Williams' son, which Robin Williams is in a gay relationship with Nathan Lane character Albert, and uh, and they have to fool his son's girlfriend's parents, who are like very conservative senator family, right, into thinking they're normal so they can you know get married because they've they, they're engaged, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's it's a pretty simple setup and it really delivers. It, it gives them a lot of room for a lot of uh, funny gags and things like yeah. that. So, and one of the one of the uh, the coolest things about this movie is uh, you would think, okay, Robin Williams, drag queen kind of thing. This is going to be he's going to be wild and off the top, and that's more Nathan Lane's character in this. Yes, Robin Williams is more of a I don't want to say straight laced because that's not really the right word, but he he he's more of a, a downplayed character. Um, Nathan Lane is the one that really steals this show, but it kind of shows the range that Robin Williams can do where he doesn't have to be the, hey, look at me, you know, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, and he's flamboyant in a totally different way, you know. He's he's flamboyant in the just, uh, you know, it's he's, I don't know, logical crazy or, you know, sensible crazy <laughs> is what he plays in this movie, which he really plays well. It's very subtle humor, Yeah, uh, a lot of his parts, and, and there's some stuff that is a little more over the top in this movie, but... I think it's really funny, but Hank Azaria makes the movie for me. <laughs> Hank Azaria is—he's such a you know, rubber-faced kind of guy. He can—he yeah. can do so many different kinds of characters. And and Abador is, or Agador, Ag- Agador, Agador. That's uh, how something he's, like that. Something man. like that. He's, he's, ba- he's basically their their butler, right? They're, they're maid. They're maid. <laughs> <laughs> he calls him a maid. <laughs> but he's got a little Spanish accent going on and doesn't doesn't say English very well and. <laughs> Not, not to. Uh, I don't think this is a good, big spoiler, but there's a part early in the movie to where he's he's cleaning the house, listening to <laughs> a stereo really loud in a red curly wig, yeah, and kind of you know dressed effeminately, dressed in drag, and he's like, "I'm both Lucy and Ricky." <laughs> <laughs> And it is, I don't know, if you haven't seen Birdcage, I'm not ruining anything for you. You should check it out for sure. Birdcage is definitely one of my favorite uh, favorite Robin Williams films. Chelsea, uh, what are your thoughts on this film? I thought it was a very interesting film that they made in 96. Mm-hmm. You know, now you have such controversy with the topic yeah. of, you know, a gay couple or whatever. So to, to, to imagine the comments and the reviews that they must have got back in 96 and to be able to still pull it off and make a classic yeah it 
you know, because I would I would totally classify this movie as a classic. Uh, you know, I didn't even know about it until it was brought up, and I was like, oh, sure, I'll check it out. And so, I watched it and laughed. And so, so you're telling me the first time that you watched it was this this past week? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's cool. I thought you had seen it before. That's that's cool, man. So this is this is your first experience with it, and and you had a you had a good viewing, huh? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very comical, and it was like Jake said, it was very tasteful. It wasn't, you know, they weren't trying to push you in one direction or the other. Right. They were just they were just trying to be funny. Exactly. Just trying to be funny. Uh, it's called The Birdcage, and of course, uh, Gene Hackman uh, is in it. Uh, and of course, uh, you had mentioned him. He's a uh, He's a, a senator, very conservative senator, and he doesn't know what's really kind of going on in the beginning and middle of this film. And uh, he, he has a lot of funny parts uh, as well, man. Very, very good actor. So great supporting cast, uh, great um, uh, front cast with, uh, uh, obviously, uh, Nathan Lane and uh, Robin Williams. It's directed by Mike Nichols. It's called The Birdcage, and you can find it on DVD. Coming up after the break, we've got Stacey Anderson in the Screen Team studio. We'll be talking about the Robin Williams film, What Dreams May Come. That's next on Today's Talk, 930 KWOC.